welcome everybody to the game breaking news a video receiving millions of views of a steaming xbox series x has surfaced it's raising a lot of questions out here and i'm gonna clear it up for you guys when the smoke clears rusty fluger is here okay so what's going on here is the video poster on twitter there tagged the xbox asking for a replacement console the tweet sounds like a scam to me okay he comes all the way from poland this thing is really smoking up i've had an atari plug and play smoke up that i bought from a garage sale okay so i I ain't saying it's out of the realm of possibility, but look at all the cords he's got plugged up to the thing. Why was my Atari plug and play smoking? Because I hooked up the wrong power adapter to it. And I was pumping too much voltage into the little Atari plug and play. And I think that's why it was smoking up and it was smelling real bad and everything like that, okay? But this to me looks like a scam, okay? I think he's trying to get a free Xbox Series X on his hands here, guys. A lot of people think that this is the real deal, Holyfield. But guess what, guys? If you blow vape smoke underneath your Xbox Series X, the fan is going to suck it up through the console and out the top of the thing. Also, keep in mind, this guy has his console set on some kind of wooden crate. So it's got slits in it, which means he could pump up a goddamn smoke machine up under there. It could go up through the slits in the wooden crate and go up and through his Xbox Series X out through the top. This could be a smoke machine he could have some kind of vape machine there's some kind of machine they sell i've seen on twitter here someone saying they think it's just some kind of air purifier looking thing that blows smoke out i don't know it could be anything but it's very suspicious guys i mean when you first take a glance at it don't it look suspicious this looks like a little bit too much smoke okay i don't think xbox would have their console shipped in this state i'm sure they've done enough testing and i'm sure they've probably thrown out all the ones that smoke like this already guys Come on, guys. We see a lot of copycats as well. There are probably a lot of Xbox uh, haters out there, a lot of PlayStation fans who are trying to capitalize on the views. This video here, the original one was taken down already, probably because Xbox and Phil Spencer probably broke some kneecaps or something like that and had him take his video down because it was a bunch of bunk. And then this dude hopped on the bandwagon. People are latching on to this one, but I still think it's fake, guys. The smoking effect here in another video, it can be, you know, like, like I said before, replicated by blowing a vape. Someone was probably so excited they had their new console, they're probably vaping like crazy, playing their, you know, Xbox games and accidentally blew it up under the console and then the thing came out the top and they're like, whoa, dude, look at this, it looks like it's on fire. You know what, this will get us some views and they threw it on Twitter there. Xbox has released a statement though and what they say in the statement is, we can't believe we have to say this, but please do not blow vape smoke into your Xbox series. X period. So Xbox seems to think this is just vape smoke as well. That's what it looks like. We've had a video replicating this. The fan sucks it up from the bottom, blows it all the way out the top, okay? But many people posting these videos and retweeting them or claiming they are, they are real, they tend to primarily be PS5 fans, okay? The PS5 fans are just taking this video and running with it. Even if they think it's a hoax, they want all their friends and everything like that to not go with the Xbox and go with the PS5. And this is giving me flashbacks of the Xbox 360 Red Ring of Death. We have had some problems with launches, okay? So this feeds right into people's fears. But let's separate the fact from the fiction, all right? And I think this could be a scam for this guy. He's thinking, well, let me buy this one Xbox. I'm going to blow a little bit of vape smoke or a whole lot of vape smoke up through the thing. And if it survives, then they send me another one because I think it's malfunctioning. Maybe I'll get two out of the deal, okay? I mean, it's worth a shot. And at the very least, the dude's got all kinds of goddamn views on his videos so i mean the scam could be real we're not seeing a whole lot of smoking videos we're seeing a few copycats here and there but i mean it doesn't seem to be factual guys and ps5s you know who has actually overheated is ps5s that are displayed in stores okay but i mean i'm not gonna lie to you guys and just say well look the ps5s are overheating in the stores okay the reason they're overheating is because they've been encased in plastic like a bubble there so the air can't escape and it gets overheated this is how stuff like this happens guys it ain't because the ps5 wasn't built right it's because it hasn't been being stored right it's some kind of user error but i will say that first the ps5s were reported to be overheating for real that's real they were overheating but i think this xbox smoke vape 
Illusion might be a direct response to those PS5s over here. And that wasn't a good look for them. All right? A lot of people at face value look at that. They don't think any farther. They think, oh, the PS5s are over here. And well, I guess it's a bunch of goddamn trash. And the Xbox haters were like, you know what? We need to, you know, fire back and get these Xboxes over here. Because we've seen the PS5s over here. And we don't want people to think that the PS5 is worse than the Xbox One. So this is how we're going to do it. Let's blow vape smoke up in the thing. All right, this could be a full on console war going on all right i mean we got it going on they're going back and forth shots are fired xbox fans ps5 fans the console war propaganda is in full swing here i don't see a whole lot of people running with the ps5s over here all right seems like most of the radical ps5 players are running with this smoking thing before they really think about it and even if they know it's false they just want to sway people over onto their side because why like my mother said said desperate times call for desperate measures that's right it's getting real desperate over there on the sony side why because analysts claim xbox series x could outsell ps5 two to one that's double or twice the amount of xbox series x is sold than the ps5s and they're getting desperate over there all these ps5 fans that just hey, and they want to play their ratchet and clanks and their demon souls and they aren't willing to really step over to the xbox sides open up their mind and really see the Xbox is the promised land over there, if you ask me, okay? So what do they want to do? They want to bring people over to their goddamn miserable side of Sony. I mean, I, if you like the exclusives, then I guess you aren't miserable. But for me, I would be miserable if I was exclusively to PS5. A lot of people are going to the Xbox side. Why? You got Game Pass. You got good exclusives that you might not be favoring on the PS5 side. Halo, Gears of War, State of Decay, Sea of Thieves, The Elder scrolls games coming to game pass for free i mean there's a whole lot riding on the xbox side you got better performance on the xbox side we'll get to that later you got better backwards compatibility it's getting desperate on the ps5 side they need something to get people to stop buying these goddamn xboxes and this could be the only thing trying to trick people xbox series x was also awarded the most wanted tech at gamescom based on a vote by the fans i mean they got everything going for them for a good reason they're bringing the most value to the gamer for the least amount of money. Yeah, I will admit PS5 has some things going for them like the controller and the haptic thing, but guess what? Maybe Xbox can come out with a haptic controller in the future. But what do fans really want? They want their games looking the best for the least amount of money, and that's what Xbox is bringing to them. So let me tell you guys, Xbox outperformed PS5 in three out of four different graphic mode settings in a digital foundry comparison of Devil May Cry. The new Devil May Cry, that's on both Xbox and PlayStation and Digital Foundry showed that only one mode, there's a whole bunch of different settings that you can do on the Xbox and the PS5. There's like, well, what do you favor? Resolution or frames per second? Well, let's see here. We can change the settings and everything like that. Xbox ran better frames per second in every single mode except for one and that could just be, why did Xbox not outperform PS5 in one mode? That could be up to the game's optimization and not a knock on the Xbox console itself, but how the game was optimized may be more favoring the PlayStation 5. Okay, this is a lot of technical mumbo jumbo, but anyway, I'm just saying that. I mean, there's what? Uh, an average of 8% better performance on the Xbox Series X. This ain't an Xbox One versus PS4 situation where you got resolutions that are drastically different on these third-party games so far. We'll see more comparisons in the future, but if if you remember last generation, I will admit that PlayStation drastically outperformed, in most cases, the Xbox One, all right? It was 1080p on the PS4 most of the time, when on Xbox, it was 720p. That's a huge difference. We don't have big differences like that this generation. It comes down more to the frames per second, but like I said, most of the time, the Xbox Series X outperforms the PS4 in this first test, okay? So it ain't looking good. I mean, PS4 really needs to fight back and maybe this is one way that the fans are trying to do it by blowing their vape smoke up into xboxes okay ign's michael swain said of these hoaxes the videos are awesome and the people who did that are very cool and funny they seem awesome i mean one of the main video game news sources ign is saying they like these videos i mean this is deceiving the people i'm all about the truth and putting out the news 
here for the game breaking news on controller sports and i do not think this is awesome people blowing vape smoke up into their consoles why because it could ruin the xbox okay two it, they could be scammers three this could just be a whole bunch of anti-xbox propaganda whatever way you slice it guys this ain't cool this ain't awesome this is confusing people said people astray and really deceiving people okay we need to tell them the truth if this is some kind of joke okay you want to oh let's pretend like we got a god dang xbox that's on fire at least show the vape that you're blowing up in there at the end of the video and say hey it was just a joke i thought this would be funny it's a cool effect that i did on my xbox but don't play it off like it's real pretend like it's real and deceive people that's only gonna set gamers back okay it's all about being truthful being real out here okay that's what you gotta do guys don't deceive people when you deceive people and other issues pop up like maybe there's some real issues with the disc all right i've seen some videos where people can't load their discs into the xbox right okay but now it's like the boy who cried a wolf he kept saying there's a wolf there's a wolf when there ain't really a wolf and a, when a wolf really comes and tears him up and he's crying about a wolf people don't believe him well are these disc load problems fake too we don't know now because there's a whole bunch of fake xboxes you know going up in smoke so how do we know what videos are being posted that are real from fake ones we don't know now so don't post these fake videos don't lead people astray okay i'll tell you guys what's real i told you guys i bought an atari plug and play at a garage sale and it started smoking but it was my error i plugged up the wrong power adapter because it didn't come with one i got a deal on it without the power adapter and it started going up in smoke and i threw it away okay but i don't think this is what's really happening in these xboxes i told you guys this dude is up to something here he's trying to get a free xbox or something like that don't believe it's real until you see it for real okay you don't know what is going on there's a lot of fake news going on out there in the social media realm there's a lot of haters of xbox there's a lot of haters of ps5 too but these ps5 players they really do have their backs against the wall and they want to justify their purchases and their pre-orders then they're gonna have to do drastic measures like pretending their xboxes are lighting up to really get people to go over to their side why because there's a lot in favor for xbox right now like i said they're gonna be out selling playstation reportedly two to one i mean it's not looking good so take that with a grain of salt all this stuff you're seeing out here and really you know test it for yourself okay and i'm just bringing this information to you it looks like the xbox series x smoking scam is now console war propaganda the console wars are really heating up it's really getting steamy out here and guess what guys it ain't the xbox that's steaming it's the heads of the playstation fans because they have been duped They've been deceived, they've been shortchanged, and it's time to jump ship to the Xbox One. It ain't really steaming. Put your vape away and play some games, guys. Okay, and enjoy the Xbox. Don't ruin it for all of us out here, okay? I'll keep you guys informed. I'll tell you guys the truth. Keep it locked here, and until next time, this has been Rusty Fluger. Rusty Fluger, over and out.